Howdy. I wasn't able to get a video out last week, so we have quite a bit to cover. The puppies and Barb are doing well. They're five weeks old now. I'll cover both week four and week five in this video, but before we get to that, The reason I wasn't able to get a week four video out is things got a little busy and an emergency came up with one of my own cats, Miko. He's doing okay now, but it was scary there for a bit. Actually, the pet portrait you see at the beginning of my videos is of Miko. The portrait was drawn by my friend Emily. You can find more of her artwork linked in the description down below. Miko was hospitalized at the emergency vet for five days. What I thought was a simple UTI turned out to be a urinary blockage, and we later found out he had urinary stones in his bladder as well. Two surgeries later, and he's back home recovering. We're lucky the blockage was caught early, as something like that left untreated can be fatal. Thank goodness Miko made it through. He's home. He's safe. He's recovering well. And he looks... Fabulous in his stylish comfy cones. I won't let him leave my side either. I'm in my helicopter mom era. But Miko seems fine with that. If you want to know more about what I've learned from this, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to talk about my experience with a Pandora Syndrome cat in a future video. Now... Let's get into what's been going on with the puppies! Where we left off in the last video, the puppies got their first round of dewormer and started some new meds after we noticed Charles woke up looking a little crusty one morning. I had also gotten a fecal sample for the rescue to give their vet for testing. They tested it and turns out the puppies had coccidia. Coccidia is a parasite and fairly common with rescue puppies and kittens but it is serious and must be treated quickly. Now that we had some answers, we upped the dosage of metronidazole for the puppies to one milliliter twice a day and saw a bit more progress after that. After about a week and a half of meds, I'm happy to share that we've started seeing some normal poops, which is such a relief. Barb does still let the puppies nurse, even at five weeks old. But they're getting big, and it was time to start offering some soft food last week. Their sharp little baby teeth have come in, and Barb definitely won't want them nursing for much longer with those. We're starting off with some freeze-dried food from Honest Kitchen. Mealtimes with puppies are very messy, so typically at breakfast I'll have them eat in the yard. That way while they're eating, I can clean out the puppy house. The first time I offered them the freeze-dried food was also the first time they went outside. Barb was suspicious of the whole thing and had to jump in the pen with them. The first few times I offered them the food, they would show a little interest but not much. See what I mean about messy? Mom ended up finishing the food for them. While I was cleaning out the shed on their first day outside, I also got some toys out to let them play with. And Barb took one for herself. When I got the puppies back in the playpen, Delia was the only one interested in the toys. It was a big day for these kids, so I'm not surprised they were too tired to even bother with the toys. They would still rather bite each other's faces. Which is a fun game, I guess. I wouldn't know, I'm not a puppy. Someday soon, Barb will stop letting them nurse completely, and they're not going to be happy about it, especially Delia. Every litter of puppies I've fostered has one that stands out from the rest as being the loudest. In this litter, that would be Little Miss Delia. We now call them the Kyle of the litter, named after one of the puppies in the last litter I fostered. Some potential adopters have asked me in the past who is the loudest because they don't want the loud puppy. But in my experience, the loud ones can end up being the quietest, and vice versa. Some parts of their personality might stick, but as they grow up to adult dogs, they can change a lot. So Delia may very well end up being a pretty quiet dog. Who knows? 
She's cute either way. Outside time is not very exciting right now, and the puppies haven't gotten much of it anyway since it's been raining a lot here. They'll get more time outside in the coming weeks when the sun is out, with lots of toys. And for anyone who may be wondering, Adam was the first puppy to poop outside on the turf. Round of applause for Adam. If you have any questions about fostering, let me know in the comments below. I foster cats, dogs, kittens, and puppies. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like to follow along with Barb and her puppies and watch them grow until they're ready for adoption. You'll see a mix of animals and gaming on this channel, as I'm a variety gamer and I stream over on Twitch to raise money for my fosters and donate to rescues. Thanks for watching!